Third grade math, 11.4, understand area. A unit square is a square shape with a side length of one unit. And the unit might be inches, feet, yards, or miles, or it could be in metric, centimeters, meters, kilometers. It has the area of one square unit. Area is the measure of the number of unit squares needed to cover the inside of a flat surface. So the area of this pink rectangle is one, two, three, four, five, six square units. One little unit square is one square unit. And as we've learned in the last few lessons, perimeter is the total distance around a figure. That's a clue word for perimeter, around. Area is the amount of unit squares we would need to cover inside the edges of a flat surface. So this square is four square units. I've got four squares inside of it, four square units. This little square right here is one centimeter square. Instead of saying it's one unit square, the unit we're using is centimeters, so it's one centimeter square. It has the measures of one centimeter each on each of the sides. Its area is equal to one square centimeter. This square is one inch square, so instead of saying one unit square, it's an inch. That's our unit, is inches. And it has side measures of one inch each. Each edge is one each, so its area is one square inch. So instead of saying the area is one square unit, since we know what the units are, they're inches, we can say it's one square inch. So when we don't know what measurement they're using, inches, feet, yards, miles, centimeters, whatever, we just call it a unit. When we do know it, then we'll use the inches, feet, yards, centimeters, or kilometers, or whatever. So that's why you see unit square and square unit. We can count the number of side units of a figure to find its perimeter. Remember, perimeter goes around the outside. So this perimeter is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 units. We don't know if they're inches or centimeters or what, so we just say 12 units. And we can count the number of unit squares inside a figure to find its area in square units. We have four, five, six blue squares. The area is six square units. If each unit square has one inch sides, well, the area is six square inches. We can use dot paper to draw figures made from unit squares. It's telling us to draw a figure made from two unit squares. We need to make a two unit square figure. I connect these dots and if I connect these dots, I have two squares that I could make here, couldn't I? I could actually go like this and you'd see the two squares. So the area is two square units. Now it's telling us to draw a figure made from three unit squares. So we can make it in any shape we want as long as they're connected next to each other. You can't have a figure that's made from two unit squares and have one square here and one square there. They've got to be connected like this. So to draw a figure made from three unit squares, we need the squares touching each other. And we can draw a line like this. And we can just go straight across and make a bar like this that is made from, can you see them? Can you see the three squares? One, two, three. So the area is three square units. By connecting the dots, we can make unit squares. And we can count the number of unit squares we made to find the area in square units. 
we have one, two, three, four. The area is equal to four square units. So see how they're connected? And they're not going straight across. We didn't have to. As long as they were connected, this figure kind of looks like a Z, doesn't it? This is four square units. We can draw different figures that are made from five unit squares. Here I've got five squares, little square magnet shapes, and we can actually place them together. Here's one, two, three, four, whoops, and five. So that would be five unit squares. So we could actually draw that. We go one, two, three, four, five. And that would be five unit squares. And since we used five unit squares to make them, the area is five square units. And we can make other ones. We can take this and we can make it go four going across this way and one coming down. See? And we can draw that. We can make four coming across and then one coming down. We've got one, two, three, four, five unit squares. The area is five square units. And it doesn't look like this one, does it? But they still have five square units. We could even go one, two, three, and go one, two. And we can draw this one. And that will be five square units. We're going to put three going this way. And then two going up on top of that. And we have one, two, three, four, five square units. They'll have the same area as each other, but their shapes will look different. Each one of these is five square units. We can count to find the area of this figure. We can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can see there's six right here and the one sticking off on the side is seven. So it's seven square units. We can count to find the area of this figure. We can start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This figure has eight square units. We can count to find the area of this figure. And if the figure looks very big on the dot paper and you think it's going to be hard to count them, connect the dots to make the squares. That might make it easier. By connecting the dots to make squares, we can count them. You can even write one, two, three inside the squares and write the number that you're counting if that helps. You could also put a tiny little dot to know that you already counted it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19. It's 19 square units. So the area is equal to 19 square units. When you're counting a lot of the squares, maybe start up in the corner and go across in neat order so that you don't get lost. You don't want to count these and then count these and then count these. Then you forget which ones you've counted. If you go in order, then you'll remember Okay, I'm going to do the next row, okay? It says, put each situation in its correct column as area or perimeter. For tile on a kitchen floor, 
Do you think that would be area or perimeter? So area is the inside measure from edges from the edges and perimeter is the outside measure. So do you think tile on a kitchen floor would be area or perimeter? If you said area, you're right. Tile on a kitchen floor covers the whole floor. It fills it inside between the walls, doesn't it? What about a fence around a garden? Would that be area or perimeter? If you said perimeter, you're right. There's a clue word here. It says around, so we know it's going around the object. It's going around the garden, it's perimeter. What about carpet or rug covering a floor? Do you think that would be area or perimeter? If you said area, you're right. A carpet covers the floor, doesn't it? It covers the inside of the floor from from each wall to each wall. What about wallpaper on a wall? Would that be area or perimeter? If you said area, you're right. Wallpaper covers the surface of a wall. What about a strip of lace around the edge of a blanket? Do you think that would be area or perimeter? If you said perimeter, you're right. We see our clue word around in this situation. What about the border line around a country? The edge of a country on a map, the border line, would that be area or perimeter? If you said borderline is perimeter, you're right. We see our clue word around again. It's going around the outside of the country, isn't it? That's perimeter. Mr. Lee tiled his hallway floor. The hallway floor included four rows with six in each row. Each tile cost $2. How much did Mr. Lee spend on tile? So we can draw a picture or use dot paper to help us. We know there were four rows, one, two, three, four, and we know there were six in each row. We multiply the number of rows, this four, by the number in each row to find the area. Four rows, times six in each row is equal to 24 tiles. Then we multiply the area, that 24, that area of unit squares, by the $2 each that the tiles cost. 24 tiles times two for $2 is equal to 48. We remember that we're talking about dollars and we make sure we have our dollar sign. So Mr. Lee spent $48 for the tile. Chris is building an enclosure for his dog, Dingo. And Chris will put fencing around the outside of the enclosure. How many units of fencing does he need for the enclosure? So, the clue word around tells us we need to find the perimeter. So we need to count the outside edges to know how many units of fencing he'll need. So let's start at the top here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six units. So I put our six here. This is one, two, three units. So we have the three. We're gonna add three to our perimeter. Then we have one, two units for this line. Then we have one, two, three units for this line. We have one, two, three, four units for this line. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six units for that line. We can add up all the sides and six plus three is nine, plus two more is 10, 11, plus three more is 12, 13, 14, 
plus 4 is 18, and then 18 plus 6 is equal to 24, we know the perimeter is 24 units. Chris will use grass sod to cover the ground in the enclosure. How many square units of grass sod does Chris need? We see some clue words, cover, it's going to cover the area, it's going to cover the ground, and in. That means we're going to be looking for area. We need to count how many units there are here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. We counted 30 square units. So what is the area inside the enclosure? Well, we counted 30 square units. That's the area. It's 30 square units. We found the perimeter was 24 units and the area was 30 square units. What is the perimeter and area of this figure? So remember, perimeter goes around the outside. Let's count. We'll start up in this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26. I counted 26 units. The perimeter is equal to 26 units. What is the area in square units? Now we have to count the inside. I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This figure is 23 square units. We can connect the dots and make 23 squares inside of here. So remember, the square units, the area of a figure is how many squares we can fit inside of it. And they have to be connected to each other. In our next lesson, 11.5, we're gonna talk about finding the area of figures in square centimeters and square inches. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.